Hello! I am going to do a series of videos on the various poems that are there in the HSC syllabus. Today I am dealing with the Inchcape Rock. No stir in the air, no stir in the sea, the ship was as still as she could be. Her sails from heaven received no motion, her keel was steady in the ocean. Without either sign or sound of their shock, the waves flowed over the Inchcape Rock. So little they rose, so little they fell, they did not move the Inchcape Bell. The abbot of Aberbrothok had placed that bell on the Inchcape Rock. On a buoy in the storm it floated and swung, and over the waves its warning rung. When the rock was hid by the surge's swell, the mariners heard the warning bell, and then they knew of the perilous rock, and they blessed the abbot of Aberbrothok. The sun in heaven was shining gay, all things were joyful on that day. The seabirds screamed as they wheeled around, and there was joyance in their sound. The boy of the Inchcape Bell was seen, a darker speck on the ocean green. Sir Ralph the rover walked his deck, and he fixed his eye on the darker speck. He felt the cheering power of spring, it made him whistle, it made him sing. His heart was mirthful to excess, but the rover's mirth was wickedness. His eye was on the Inchcape float, quote he, My men put out the boat and row me to the Inchcape rock and I'll plague that abbot of Aberbrothok. The boat is lowered, the boatmen row and to the Inchcape rock they go. Sir Ralph bent over from the boat and he cut the bell from the Inchcape float. Down sank the bell with a gurgling sound. The bubbles rose and burst around. Good Sir Ralph, the next who comes to the rock won't bless the abbot of Aberbrothok. Sir Ralph the rover sailed away, he scoured the sea for many a day, and now grown rich with plundered store, he steers his course for Scotland's shore. So thick a haze outspreads the sky, they cannot see the sun on high, the wind had blown a gale all day, at evening it had died away. Canst hear, said one, the breakers row, for me thinks we should be near the shore. But where we are I cannot tell, but I wish I could hear the Inchcape bell. On the deck the rover takes his stand, so dark it is they see no land, Coat Sir Ralph. It will be lighter soon, for there is the dawn of the rising moon. They hear no sound, the swell is strong. Though the wind hath fallen, they drift along. Till the vessel strikes with a shivering shock, O oh Christ, it is the Inchcape Rock. Sir Ralph the Rover tore his hair. He cursed himself in his despair. The waves rush in on every side. The ship is sinking beneath the tide. But even in his dying fear, one dreadful sound could the rover hear, a sound as if with the Inchcape bell, the devil below was ringing his knell. This is a ballad. Now you will ask me, what is a ballad? A ballad is a poem that tells a story. And what is this story? This story is a story of an abbot living in a monastery. Who is an abbot? An abbot is a priest or a monk that is the head of a monastery. What were the monasteries of the old days? The monasteries of the old days were the place where the monks would spend a long time in meditation and silence. Many hours in prayer. 
most of these monasteries were placed on the top of a cliff because they were places where silence was needed. So imagine this monastery and it's overlooking a huge sea. At the bottom of the cliff is this rock, which is the Inchcape Rock. Now this rock has caused many ships to get wrecked and sink. Many mariners or sailors to lose their lives. And so this abbot, being a man of God, thinking, how can I save these people's lives? How can I save this, these uh, ships? He does a very simple thing. He takes a float, he attaches a bell to it, and he places, he attaches that to the Inchcape Rock. Now when the tide is low, there is no sound because the bell is resting on the rock. But when there is a high tide, the float lifts off the rock and the bell moves with the waves and it rings, warning sailors of the perilous rock, of the dangerous rock. So every time the sailors pass by that area and they hear the sound of that bell, they are reminded of the Inchcape Rock and they whisper a prayer, a God bless you, to the abbot. Now while we have sailors on one side, we also have on the other side, pirates. Now who is a pirate? A pirate is one who plunders or robs ships. So in that area, was a gentleman by the name of Ralph. What was Ralph's job? Ralph only plundered the ships. So one day Ralph is in his ship passing by that area, hears the Inchcape bell, looks at that Inchcape rock, it's just a speck in the ocean, and he tells his men, take me to that rock. It was a bright sunny day, there were seagulls in the air and the boatmen lower a rowboat, take Sir Ralph to the Inchcape Rock. What does Sir Ralph do? He bends over and he cuts the rope that is holding the bell. Now you know when a heavy object sinks into water, it makes a gurgling sound, a guruk, guruk. That sound of the bell releases bubbles that come up to the surface of the water. Sir Ralph goes back to his boat and he remains in that area waiting for ships to hit the Inchcape Rock and as the ship is sinking, he and his men plunder the ships. So he doesn't have to take too much of trouble because the ships are already in trouble. Now Sir Ralph fills his hull with all the plunder that he has gathered from all the ships that have been destroyed by this Inchcape Rock. And after many, many months of plunder, he decides, okay, I have enough. The ship is full. Let me go back to the show. Unfortunately for him, weather was not so good. The sea was rough and his boat gets tossed around. The sun sets, it becomes even darker and Ralph is worried. He wishes then, probably thinks then, that he's close to shore but he cannot see anything because visibility is bad. One of his sailors hears the breakers. Now what are breakers? Breakers are when the waves hit a rock, they make a sound. They break against the rock. So they are called breakers. So he can hear the sound of the waves hitting a rock. And he is worried that they are close to the rocks. 
and his ship is being pushed by the wind and it's drifting closer and closer to the rocks. Sir Ralph says that it's go light is going to come. He is hoping that light comes and the only light he can hope for is the moonlight. And so he says the moon will come out and we will be able to see where we are. But before anything happens, Sir Ralph's ship hits the rocks and it gets wrecked. Sir Ralph knows that the hull is full of the plunder he has gathered and he is annoyed. He tears at his hair and he curses himself. But to no avail, the ship slowly disintegrates and sinks. And as Sir Ralph is drowning, he can hear one sound. And what is that sound that he can hear? The sound of the Inchcape bell. And he says, it's probably the devil below who's got the Inchcape bell and ringing it, welcoming Ralph to hell. This is the general story of the poem. I will go through the poem in detail, stanza by stanza, in my second video. This is teacher grandma, a teacher for 34 years and a grandmother of two pretty little girls. I hope you have enjoyed the story of this poem. I will do a second one of detail and a third one with the appreciation of the poem. Do watch, like, share and subscribe.